Hi, this is Roger Balzer. Welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for January 18th, 2016. Our title for this week is, How Can You Be So Sure? Recently, I've been asked, how can you be so sure about these charts? Look at what the market has done this year. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? And when I hear these questions, it sounds a lot like the conversation between Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei in the movie My Cousin Vinny. When Vinny, Joe Pesci, hears the faucet dripping after Marissa Tomei, who's, played by, who's playing Mona Lisa, uses the bathroom, Vinny says, how can you be so sure? She answers, if you will look in the manual, you will see that this particular model faucet requires a range of 10 to 16 foot pounds of torque. I routinely twist the maximum allowable torquage. He then asked, how can you be so sure you use 16 foot pounds of torque? Mona Lisa answers, because I used a Craftsman model 1019 Laboratory Edition Signature Series torque wrench, the kind used by Caltech high energy physicists and NASA engineers. Vinny then says, in that case, how can you be so sure that's accurate? She says, because a split second before the torque wrench was applied to the faucet handle, it had been calibrated by top members of the state and federal departments of weights and measures to be dead on balls accurate. Here's a certificate of validation. Vinny then says, dead on balls accurate. She says, it's an industry term. One of the indicators we employ here at Balls or Wealth Management is a relative strength measurement of the S&P 500 versus the bond market. Essentially, what this measurement tells us is, is it better to be in stocks or are we better off in bonds? So what the heck does that mean? Buy signals on this chart indicate it's time to overweight stocks instead of bonds. You can see that in green. And sell signals, which you see here in red, indicate it's time to overweight bonds instead of stocks. This chart gave a sell signal in November of 2000. Then it gave a buy signal, which meant to be in stocks in the summer of 2003. It then gave a sell signal in July of 2008, which meant it was time to underweight stocks. The chart then gave a buy signal in June of 2009. It's been on this signal ever since. Now, this is not the only indicator we use. It's one of several. There will be times when this chart turns from a column of X's into a column of O's. That's happening almost now. That tells me that stocks are weak, sloppy, the market is messy, and my phone is going to start to ring. That's okay. So when we get a few days like we've had this year, it's great to have these indicators to fall back on. Beats relying on the knuckleheads on CNBC or Bloomberg predicting big losses in a bear market and bracing for the sell-offs. Holy cow! Until next week, if you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, please give me a call at 440-934-3114 or my mobile at 440-610-3012. Shoot me an email to roger at .com. This market, too, will pass and we'll be back on solid footing shortly. But we're following the indicators when the charts change, we will change. Make it a great week.